All right, so I got a 10 pound propane tank. Put it in there. I figured for the future, I'll need it for a stove and I can use it for my Mr. Buddy. So that works out. Got a hose, new lighter. So cool. We're in the, at a camper, camping world. There you go. And that's where I was able to get it. Otherwise it was gonna take me forever to get it uh, ordered and have to deliver it somewhere. So here we go. So yeah, like I was saying, the 10, 11 pound tank is now mounted on the back and I can use it for the future because I want to have a uh, cook grill set up out the back of this thing um, that I can sit on that platform there and, and have like a single or dual burner. And then I won't have to worry about propane all that often uh, with my Mr. Buddy, the hose I got that propane tank will hook directly to. So that'll work out and we're still gonna be in the winter for a while so I'm sure I'm gonna use it but anyways uh, let's go hit the actual strip of Las Vegas now that I've wasted half the day Strip of Vegas, baby. I'm sure this place is lit up. Gordon Ramsay's house and Hell's Kitchen right there, boy. That's awesome. I'm sure this place is lit up at night. People do drive crazy around here, though. Just a random Maserati driving around, no big deal. So I'm on the strip of Las Vegas. It's pretty cool. It's kind of busy and city, you know, obviously. But I'm not a huge fan of cities. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna park and cook lunch but we'll find a parking spot here somewhere may have to just get down further 
outside the city, just a hair down the strip. I don't want to be on the strip, so I'll just have to look around a little bit and see what I find. So we'll just keep looking. But not a bad area. I could see why people are attracted to it. So found a spot at a CVS off the main strip. We're gonna see if uh, maybe can make some food here. I don't think I'm gonna end up making the uh, original entree I was thinking about, but I can make uh, something like a wrap or something, you know, usual, and then move on from here and, and head out of town, find somewhere to camp and, and then cook a nice meal uh, for dinner. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, Las Vegas is cool, but you know, it's uh, it's definitely like when you don't have your vehicle that you're living out of where you can just fly in and get a rental or Uber from the airport or whatever, and then just be a straight up tourist around the area. That's the uh, that's the experience, um, and with friends too. But being by myself and just driving my forerunner around, you know, it's cool to sightsee, but um. I think coming back with friends at some other point in time in my life will be a good idea. But definitely a pretty cool place. I uh, hope you guys like the, the scenery, driving around. It's hard to get good video and drive at the same time and figure out where you're going. But I'm gonna eat lunch and then get out of town. So, see you guys. Alright guys, we ate and now we are back on the road. Heading towards Red Canyon is what I've got on the map right now, but I'm not sure if that's where I'm gonna stay or where I'm going. So that's just on the way out of town. I know for sure, so it looks pretty cool on the pictures. mountain over here with the snow on it is Mount Charleston. It's uh, around 11,000 feet. It's a good place to go skiing and snow and snowboarding and stuff apparently. Almost the snow-capped mountains you can see in the distance earlier when I was filming. Pretty cool. Uh, that one over there to the right is pretty gnarly too with a pretty long flat top. See you in Las Vegas. Alright, so we're going north to hit Boundary Peak, the highest peak in Nevada. And then we're going to shoot over and see if I can get a permit for Mount Whitney and do Mount Whitney within like a two, two day hike or you know, would be ideal because it's 20 miles. I mean, I could just do it easy three days, I guess. I say easy, but you know, just chop it up into three days and do that. But for right now, we're going to Boundary, and it's I could be there within at five o'clock this evening if uh, if I was able to drive that fast, but uh, I can't. But and then um, 
Mount Whitney's within a reasonable 100 miles from there or less. And then uh, Yosemite is not too far from there. So we're heading to the, to the Goat area now. We're gonna see some stuff I've been wanting to see for a while. And I'm excited. But we're gonna get up pretty far out of town here and see if there's a place that I can stay in the mountains for the night. Um, and then we'll move on to Boundary tomorrow and see what the, the weather looks like when I get there. And just kind of play it by ear, you know. It's kind of what you have to do. The trailhead's kind of remote as well. Definitely a drone. Feels weird seeing palm trees in the west. So I got gas here at Terribles. Never been in a Terribles before, but this one was all based off of military stuff because of this big military base over here. And I thought that was really interesting. Completely forgot my phone and my camera and all that. So. I didn't get any good pictures, or actually I didn't get anything at all, but there's a casino like built in the side of this place too. But yeah, all the stalls had like uh, Superman and Batman type stuff on the on the doors. It was kind of cool, and then mil military missiles hanging from the ceiling. It'd be worth a, a check for sure if you're in this area and you want to pay too much for gas, but still worth checking out. So let's get on, keep it on. too far to my right is uh, area 51 and then to my left uh, is Death Valley just on the other side of those mountains so did not realize all that until I started seeing uh, signs that said uh, aliens ahead or something with area 51 so I tried a GPS area 51 of course and it says no way to get there which doesn't surprise me but that explains all the drones and crazy stuff in this area because uh, these military bases don't play around. But I'm pretty far out here in the middle of nowhere right now. That's what it feels like at least. I heard this uh, peak was pretty remote and now I believe it and see why. But still got some miles to go before I'll turn off and find somewhere for tonight um, we're still down in like the 2500 feet elevation range so I might try to stay a little lower tonight and enjoy the warmer weather for one more day before I go back up to you know 8,000 or whatever so it's pretty cool down here just very desolate Feeling like sand right now, so we're gonna leave it out there. <laughs> 